Okay, we've got our triangle here, and we're being asked to find this side. Now usually you'd use um, the sine rule, so let's just have a look at that. I could have x over sine 80 equals 8 over the sine of this angle. Unfortunately, I've got two unknowns, so I can't use the sine rule. That's how I know. I try to use the sine rule. If it doesn't work, I'm going to have to go for the cosine rule. And that one is a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a. Now notice in this that if I'm trying to find a side, I need the other two sides and the angle that's paired with the side. So off we go with that. A squared I don't know, but I've labelled it as x, so I'll keep it as x squared. B squared, so that I can choose either 4 or 8, it doesn't matter, so I'm going to go 4 squared, plus the other side, which is 8, so that's 8 squared, minus 2 times 4 times 8 times cos of my angle, which was 80. And the marvellous thing about that is that you can type that straight into your calculator. Here we go, I'm going to type it all straight in. And so what I've got is, I'll turn it on, 4 squared, add 8 squared, minus 2 times 4, times 8, times cos 80, press equals, and that's what x squared is, so I've got x squared equals that, 6 d8.888655, but that's x squared, so that's, whoa, 68.88651663, well, I didn't need to write all that down, because all I'm going to do is find the square root of that, because I've got x squared, so I'm going to press square root on my calculator, and that answer is 8.30, if I'm rounding that to three significant figures, which you should do.